This game is tea and is not suitable for kids. Ah, spoiler alert! Hey there, honey! And guess. Welcome back to Miles Edgeworth Ace Attorney Investigations, everybody! Continuing Turnabout Airlines, today we're still in The Middle by the Jimmy middle? Eat World. What? <laughs> <laughs> now that's, I don't that's, even that's know. That's a music album, apparently. Oh, okay. Marty's really excited to continue because... Yeah, because we've got her! Francisca. We got Francisca back! Who's apparently like Marty's favorite character in the Ace okay. Attorney series. I think for she's some cool. I, I think she's really obnoxious, but she's like an obnoxious character that I really like. Okay. Miss Tenero's in the flight attendant's room. Let's move. That blue door over there leads to the flight attendant's room, sir. All right, let's go see what Miss Tenero has to say for herself. And then she never comes back. Oh, we can just run around here? Man, that dude left all of the- oh. <laughs> I'm sorry for the late introduction. I am Miles Edgeworth, prosecutor. He's not even looking at him. <laughs> I am too important to look at you. I believe one of my attendants asked you in my stead for permission to investigate. Oh uh, yeah, you must mean Prosecutor Cammy. I mean, Miss Meal was telling me about it. Uh, the prosecutor. Oh, I was like, Anna Camille's a prosecutor? <laughs> Cammy. I remember telling her you could investigate the employed shopper or something of the sort. Then I guess it's true, Miss Tenero didn't ask for permission on my behalf. Oh, sorry, I forgot to introduce myself. I'm the captain of... Thank you for your help. I think this is about all the useful information I'm going to get from Wait, this Wait, let's man. talk to her. If I may have a word with you, Miss Meal. No, you may not have a word with me. I want to assure you that the lady is a fellow prosecutor. Her name is Francisca Von Karma. I don't care who she is, she's talking to the Moon Captain! I sense Miss Meal is the type who considers every other woman to be a threat. Especially if she has a whip. Yeah. I do really like the running animation. Let's go! You, hurry and solve your murder! If you do not, how am I supposed to have my cargo returned to me? If you could please be patient just a little longer, Mr. Le LeBlanc. Hurry and solve it, like a strike of thunder! It's as fast as lightning, and believe me, if I could, I would. Let's talk. Oh, this is a really nice flight room attendant. for the flight attendants. Also, there's only two flight attendants? On this flight, apparently. That's there's only, like, six passengers. No, that's in the first-class cabin. And that, there might be more flight attendants for the non-first-class cabin. What, and they don't get the epic room? No. <laughs> wow, that's really rude. March 12th, 2.23 p.m. So you're the one that poked around inside this plane without the captain's permission. Deviating from the flight attendant's manual is very unbecoming, you know. What were you hoping to accomplish by doing that? I... I... Miss Tenero. Ah, uh, Mr. Edgeworth, you're here too? Can you please help us and shed some light on why you did what you did? Alright. Well, let's talk to... Let's talk to the weird, uh, guy standing by the door. After. And what are inside these boxes? Oh, those are some souvenirs I bought in Borginia. There's so many! Th oh, that scubs you. There's so many! There's even a second box! Well, yes, I find that folk art from around the world does great things for my creativity. Those suitcases certainly could have done a whole, a whole lot less of your creativity. Oh. What is all this junk inside these boxes? There's no rhyme or reason for any of it. That's our lost and found, Mr. Edgeworth. <laughs> Gold crowns, and swords, and necklaces? It's like a treasure trove in here, sir! The fact that these were left on the plane implies they were carried onto it to begin with. Something tells me it's time for iFly to send its metal detectors out for repairs. Yeah, no kidding. Miles Edgeworth, isn't there something you should be doing right now? Of course. I should be asking Miss Tenero for her side of the story. That's right! And how does that have anything to do with what's over there? Nothing, really. If you already knew that, then why don't you hurry up with the interrogation already? It's pretty easy to tell who sleeps in which bed just by looking. I'm almost certain that the well-kept one up top belongs to Miss Tenero. Ew! The bottom one is a giant mess! You sloven, squalid scoundrel of a man! You dare to scrutinize a woman's bed and invade her privacy?! Yo! There are some things in life best kept to yourself, Detective. Well, go on. Let's hear our troublesome attendant out. In due time, I do have one thing I'd like to ask you. Yes? Do you plan to continue using that whip for the foreseeable future? 
I love how he's pointing at nobody. Of course! I've wrangled many a testimony out of people thanks to it. <laughs> Looks like they're doing an interpretive dance. <laughs> yeah, probably a whole ton of yups. Wow! And I'm willing to bet that the majority of them came from you, Detective. Oh, we can oh. just leave? Okay. Wait, I thought the door... I thought we went for this door. We can't go through that door. That door leads to unforce... Uh, it's probably like a bathroom. Yeah, but we when we entered through the door, it, we yeah. were on the left side. Yeah, yes, that's, that's kind of weird. What are you doing and why are you fidgeting? I, I've never been on a plane before, and I've never been in an attendance room. Well, even on a normal flight, one would rarely ever need to enter one. I don't know when I'll ever get to be on a plane again, so I want to soak it all in now, sir. Let's see, a box full of crowns and a yellow suitcase and... Oh, what a great trip! Paging Detective Gumshoe, kindly return to the situation at hand. Way to show her who's boss, Mr. Edgeworth. Not even Miss Von Karma's whip is a match for you. You give me too much credit. She simply didn't have all the information. To be sure, the flights will become tougher and tougher as the investigation progresses. And so will the fights. And the fights. <laughs> <laughs> That's alright, Mr. Edgeworth. We all misspeak all the time. You've got me watching your back. I'll make sure to keep on supporting you any way I can. You just say the word, sir. Really? Then how about standing out in front and absorbing whiplashes for me? Yeah. Alright, talk to her. Oh, she's got an interesting sprite. Haven't we seen that one before? No. Maybe, oh, maybe not. Why did you lie about receiving the captain's permission like that? Because I didn't think I would be able to get his permission. What do you mean? The captain... He only has ears for Cammy. I spoke with the captain a little earlier myself. He definitely seems to be rather taken in with Miss Miele. Neil. Neil. Looks like Miele. Yes. And on top of that, I had mistakenly accused Mr. Edgeworth of being the killer. I wanted to make amends. In that case, please allow me to thank you for what you did. Thanks to you, I was able to clear myself of all charges. Really? You were able to prove your innocence? Oh, thank goodness. Miss Tenero, is it? There is one more thing I'd like to ask you. You were in the fl in flight shop just before the turbulence, weren't you? Please answer honestly. Yes, I was. And why were you there? Well, I... Hmm? Why the sudden hesitation? Franziska seems to have struck a nerve. All I did was go check up on the shop like I always do. You're saying it like it- or you're saying it was for work then? Yes, I'm in charge of the shop, so I have to keep an eye on it. I don't have any reason to go there otherwise. After your visit to the shop, you paid a visit to this room, correct? Yes, I came back to freshen up and adjust my makeup. I'm sorry, but there isn't much else to tell. Hmm. Miss Tenero claims to have no reason other than duty to go to the shop. But is that all there is to it? Maybe I should ask her about that thing. About the suitcase? Did she design it? If you could please take a look at this for me, Miss Tenero. Oh, that suitcase! Yes, about this suitcase, you are the one who designed it, correct? And I think I figured something else out about it. This suitcase is the reason you went to the shop, isn't it? There's nothing you won't find out eventually, is there? Won't you please tell me more about this suitcase? Yes, um, I... well, I... I was interested in seeing how the suitcases I had designed were selling. I... I know that as a service professional I'm not supposed to care. But I really wanted to know. And I was glad to see that it was the last one there. It was not! The last one there? It was not there. There were two. So you're saying, Miss Tenero, that the suitcase, is in question, the suitcase in question was the last one? Yes! They're just so popular, they're practically flying off the shelves! That's not exactly the impression I got. The one in the shop is most definitely the last one! Well, we're currently looking at that suitcase. Really? Then I guess we sold all of them. Thank you very much for taking the last one. I didn't say anything about buying it! Then say you'll buy it! I... I'm sorry, I can't. But why? 
I think it'll go great with your complexion, Mr. Ru uh, Edgeworth. It certainly suits you. I guarantee it personally as a service professional. Um, well, that is... How should I put this? It's hideous. What? Hmm, maybe that was a bit too direct. <laughs> Moving on, my issue with the suitcase isn't the design, it's the number of them remaining. Remaining? There were two suitcases in the in-flight shop when I investigated it. Two? But that's... impossible! I'm sure there was only one. Looks like her story has generated quite the contradiction. When I left the shop, I'm positive there was only one suitcase left. Something is amiss here. What could be the meaning of this inconsistency? The suitcase appeared after the turbulence. Hmm. By the way, Miss Tenero, what is one of those suitcases doing here? Um, that's... I thought you said there was only one left. That one is, um, it's mine. I've used it for a very long time now. There's a price tag on She's it. used it for a long time. I think not. Miss Tamero, I'd appreciate it if you wouldn't lie to me. Excuse me! I don't believe for even one second that you use this for a very long time. It's pretty <laughs> obvious why. Because... This reminds me of the Ghost Trick soundtrack right now. A little bit, yeah. Take that! Simply That's by looking sense. here at the fire extinguishers, you can tell. It sounds like, um, four minutes before death. A little bit. And complication. Yeah, both. Tell me by looking where. Please, a simple glance won't do. Look harder. I don't get it either, sir. Ah, then I suppose I have no choice but to explain it to you once again. Hmm, I suggest you take your own advice. A simple glance won't do, Miles Edgeworth. Nyah! She just had to figure it out. <laughs> there must be something that proves the suitcase is brand new. That's exactly what I need to do. Take that! Tell me, Miss Tenero, it is also your habit to keep the price tag? Is it also your habit to keep the price tag pristine on your suitcase? Ah! Uh, what is the meaning of this? Why would you lie about a suitcase? Despite having faith in her design sense, the sale numbers made her cry bitter tears. The truth is becoming increasingly clear to me. Miss Tenero, I think I understand. I know what you are trying to hide. Now then, this suitcase was originally in the flight attendant's room, the in-flight shop, or first Would make class. no sense to be in first class. She stole it! <laughs> it was originally... Well, my initial idea of what happened was that, um, Cammy and the captain were in cahoots. Hence the, oh, we're gonna have a little bit of turbulence <laughs> with that. And then, um, Cammy might have had the suitcase ready in the flight attendant room. Mm -hmm. And then, like, maybe Miss Tenero found it and she's like, uh, you're not gonna tell, are you? Mm -hmm. Like that, and then. We only have six profiles. I don't think we get any more either. We don't get the captain? Why wouldn't we get the captain? Well. Oh, maybe we do get the captain. I was about to say, we have to get the captain. I'm sure of it. Not necessarily. Well, it's either the, in the flight. Well, let's get the shop. stupid one yeah, out of the way. Yeah, let's get the first. stupid one out of the way. It was originally in first class as a part of a sales campaign. But the passengers were so engrossed in the movie that you brought it back. Here. And what does that have to do with the case? We should try to find that out. Isn't it our job to investigate these kinds of connections? Then investigate it by yourself your own time! Yeah! I should probably rethink this. I have to figure out where this suitcase came from. So out of these two, which would you say? Well, if she said that it wasn't in the in-flight shop when she went, then it must be originally in the flight attendant's room. This suitcase was originally in the flight attendant's room. So now you believe what I said about it being my personal suitcase? Uh, no, not at all. I was here, it was here, but then it was taken to another location and... I refuse to stand by while a villainous man vilifies a woman with such vile tactics. Yeah, she's making me out to be some sort of supervillain. I can see that. Yeah. Seeing as how the price tag is still on the suitcase, one can only assume it was cut out on the floor for sale in the shop. And the person who bought this suitcase was... Oh. 
Well, I mean, it would probably be her. I don't know who else it would be. Uh, Mr. The other Stewart. No. Why would he buy it? Also, he doesn't have access to the that that room. Right. Because I'm guessing it's locked. It could be Cammy. Are you going with your original theory that like Cammy's a Karen? Okay. Yeah, I also. <laughs> Miss Meal has a Mr. I Fly stuffed animal that she likes to carry around. If she is that much of a fan, it's only natural that sh it was she who brought the suitcase. She does like that doll a lot. So much that I've had to speak with her about it. But she's also laughed at me on many occasions that my suitcase's design is strange. Come to think of it, Miss Meal did say something to that effect in the shop. If you're done chatting, ladies, let's return to the topic at hand. Ladies? Well, I never! All right, I'll rethink things, but there really is only one point I have to focus on. He does on. have long hair for a guy. Not this... like, not he doesn't have like a ponytail, but he's got long bangs. The suitcase was on sale in the in-flight shop. The person who bought it was. Take her. This is the person who bought the suitcase. Sorry, but I don't understand your line of logic at all. Care to explain why you chose to finger that person? Humph. If that's how you're going to play this, then I'll admit that I was wrong. Instead of basking in your great admission, perhaps you should spend some time thinking! Grr! This game is just not as funny as some of the others. It's great, though. You you like it thus far? Thus far? I mean, the first case I was like, mm, sports, whatever. I, th I feel like the first this, two cases suck. This case is kind of interesting now. Nah, it's not really. This case... This game it's doesn't not have... my favorite This game case. doesn't have very high highs, I'll say. Okay. It was you, wasn't it, Miss Tenero? I hate to say this, but this suitcase that you designed, it hasn't sold very well, has it? You saw how poorly this design that you poured your heart into was selling, and were deeply hurt. That's why you wanted to make it look like it was selling by buying it yourself. Isn't that right? Then, the reason you went to the shop and came back here was... I'm sorry! All, all I really have is my job. I... I was overjoyed when my design was chosen. I thought that maybe... Maybe I finally had accomplished something. But the suitcases didn't sell. It's because of the design, isn't it? All because it's as you put it. Hideous. I can't say they chose a great place in which to sell them, either. We weren't selling a single one and they were just sitting there collecting dust. I felt so bad seeing them there, day in, day out. So I decided to buy one for every flight I worked. You buy one every single time you work a flight? I see. So in order to keep your resolution, you went and bought one today as well. Yes, and here's my receipt for that purchase. Hmm. This receipt is clearly time-stamped at 5.40 a.m. The truth is, there's still a bunch of them left unsold. They're planning to scrap the remaining ones at the end of this flight. Miss Tenero, where are these other suitcases? They should all be down at the cargo hold. Then, the suitcase the killer used... Could very well have come from the cargo hold. Um, Mr. Edgeworth, you don't think that the killer used one of my suitcases, too? Yes, I do. The killer used one of your beloved suitcases... to move the victim's body. Ah! How could they?! Those suitcases were meant to be faithful partners to our passengers on their trips! That's all I've ever wished for them to be. Miss Tenero, is there any other way to get to the cargo hold other than the elevator? The only other way is just through that door there. And what about security? That door has no special lock installed because... Just to enter this room, you need a special keycard that only crew members have access to. Well, it's a crew member! Which means that the culprit is someone who can enter this room, eliminating the passengers and leaving only crew members as potential suspects. I can't believe it. Yes, Franziska? Going on these wild goose chases, you're a disgrace to the Von Karma name. Not a disgrace to geese, though. And what do you mean by that? The suitcase came from the cargo hold. The fact alone tells the whole story. Yes, which is why I said the culprit must be a crew member who used their keycard. Niles Edgeworth! You're proposing that the killer rode the elevator from the cargo hold, correct? Yes, that's the only realistic possibility. The o other attendant, Miss Meal. I asked her earlier, and she had this to say. Franziska got information out of Miss Meal? 
in order to make the elevator go down to the cargo hold. A different keycard is required. A different one? Yes, and the only person who holds that particular card is you, Miss Rhoda Tenero, and only you. Ah! What? Is this true, Miss Tenero? Yes, I keep that key card in my locker at all times. Could you please show us that card right now? Yes, hold on. Ah! I, I don't believe it! What's wrong? The key card. It's... it's gone! <laughs> Very clever. Pretending that your card was stolen when in fact you're just trying to hide it from us. You've really thought this through. Wait! It's not like that! You can tell us all about what it's like down at the station. Officer, arrest this woman! Yes, ma'am! Mr. Edgeworth! What's wrong? There's disbelief written all over your face. Francesca, I know that you are the lead investigator on this case, however... Hold it! Don't even think about wasting any more of my time! You know the rules as well as I do. Evidence speaks louder than words. Even if this isn't a courtroom, that basic tenet still applies. I intend to investigate the cargo hold now. What will you do, Miles Edgeworth? I intend to do likewise. To be continued. continued. After 20 minutes? No way. We'll continue a little more. Yeah! <laughs> it's funny. Oh, I forgot how long it takes to save. So my question is, I wonder if one of those silhouettes is Fron Karma. It is. Yeah! March 12th, 2.52pm, flight I-390, lower deck cargo hold. Wow! So this is the cargo hold, huh? It's so big! This plane is a special model. It has both a super large cargo hold and an ultra luxurious first class seating. So, is this the real scene of the murder? There is certainly a high possibility of that, which is why we are here, correct? Okay, let's get investigating, sir! Yeah! Move around! Well, oh, have fun. I love how Francis I'm going to get like, Arby's. Arby's? <laughs> no way. At least aim higher than Arby's. Arby's is pretty high. Like, buck -a -buck -a -buck -a -buck. One, one day I will go back to Arby's. I just like haven't gone since. <laughs> oh, oh yes, it's Benchins. Who invited that kid? Oh man. Keeping track of this many pieces of cargo must be very taxing on the cargo crew. This sure brings back memories of when I worked as a part-time mover, sir. By the look in his eyes, he's waiting for me to ask about the rest of the story. But no matter how he pours it on the puppy eyes, I have no intention of doing so. Wow! How rude. I didn't know that this plane was capable of carrying such large pieces of cargo. This thing's as tall as two of you on top of each other, sir. It would probably take 20 of you to cover the surface area of this monstrosity. What, really? Huh. Yeah, I guess that sounds about right. There's really no need to take that throwaway estimate seriously, Detective. Holy suitcases, Mr. Edgeworth! It's like an all-you-can-use suitcase fair! These must be all the leftover ones they couldn't sell. The ones the company is planning to dispose on, uh, dispose of after this flight is over. This paint job is really cool, don't you think? It practically screams artsy! Oh, why not purchase one, then? I'm sure it will bring you much happiness. You think so? Then maybe I will! Let's see here. Twelve hundred dollars! I think I'll pass. And Miss Tenero wonders why they don't sell. You need two jobs just to buy one. Wow. Hmm. It definitely looks like one is missing. Hmm? What is this brittle substance I'm stepping on? It's a bunch of glass fragments. That's peculiar. Oh, who left their TV dinner open? Hey, what's with the suitcase, pal? It's what the victim checked in, sir! So this suitcase belonged to Mr. Hicks. I don't think he'd mind if we took a closer look. 
There's nothing out of the ordinary in here, sir. Wait. A file. And there's a photo of Miss Von Karma in it, sir! That's a bit weird! He is Mr. Stewart! Big fan, fan of your, your mom, mom Chris! <laughs> <laughs> Looks like a profile on Franziska. <laughs> Maybe she was, like, doing some illegal stuff, and then he was, like, investigating on her? Are you like, Francisca is the killer, even though she no, wasn't on no, the No, no, I'm wondering if it was, like, maybe she forged some evidence or something. Oh. And then this guy was, like, on her case, and then he just happened to die. Not not because of her, necessarily. Oh, interesting. And you think that'll kind of tie into a different case, maybe? Yeah, maybe. Why maybe it'll go back in time and be like, oh, even further back in time. <laughs> Each case takes place before the previous. So yeah, maybe. That'd be really cool. Why would Mr. Hicks have had a file on her? Move. I want to move. Fine. All sorts of boxes are piled up here. This one says flammable, and this one says pharmaceuticals. This one says for exorcism use only. Just what kind of operation is this airline running? For exorcism use only? For Dahlia, apparently. Yeah. Ooh, I just love pushing the buttons in elevators at crosswalk signs. Er, uh, on and. elevators and crosswalk <laughs> signals. <laughs> Here, you should give it a try, sir. Go on, push it. The elevator is currently stopped on the first floor, detective. It can't move. Oh, yeah. I guess nothing would happen if you pushed it now. Well, nothing would happen normally anyway without the special key card. Yeah. <sighs> Both the door to the attendance room and the elevator's control panels require a key card, which makes it impossible for a passenger to come down here. Have you noticed anything strange happening around here? Uh, no, sir, I haven't noticed a thing. I'm not sure that it, what that he meant to sound so oblivious. You arrived at the scene of the crime before Detective Gumshoe, correct? And you then immediately began to direct the investigation. It seems to me that you were already here in the airport for something besides the murder. Maybe she was meeting this guy. Wait, wait, maybe this is like a lover's thing. <laughs> Where she's like, gonna go meet this guy at like... Like she's met, like maybe they met online or something, they were messaging. She's like, oh sure, I'm, I'm in the country, like, come on by. And then like, that ended badly. She's he like, had a file on her? <laughs> hang on. Well, well maybe, hang maybe... Hang on, hang on. Oh wait. It's not in there. Oh yeah, that's, it went to logic instead. Maybe it was, um, like, it could still be that. I could be like, oh, like, maybe we're interested in each other. He's just like, <laughs> looking up weird stuff about her and he's like, mm, Oh, this is strange. Weird father that died. <laughs> um, okay. And like, maybe looking into it. Man, he has a lot of Taco Bell wrappers in his car. <laughs> <laughs> okay. What is this, the biggest loser or whatever? Where it's like, <laughs> Where it's oh, like, I've, been, I've been losing weight. Like, oh, is that so? And then like, they open the car and there's like a million McDonald's wrappers. So like, no! <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's exactly like that. <laughs> yes, I was. Why at this airport? This is a crappy airport. I've been following a very large and involved government level international crime. But it's much too large for one person to take on alone. So it was decided that I should form a joint investigation with Interpol. So, uh, maybe he's an Interpol agent? <laughs> maybe he's related to Mr. <laughs> <laughs> Interpol is involved? It's a top secret operation, so I really can't tell you any more than I already have. Fair enough. Wait, let's present something to her. Okay. Like what? Um, our attorney's badge. It's a <laughs> prosecutor's badge. There's something much more urgent we should be dealing with right now. Don't waste my time or yours. Okay, fine. Jeez. Let's walk around. Oh, uh, yes, sir. Oh, I forgot. This cargo hold is really big! I can't believe they can fit stuff like that in here! Detective, what are you going on about? We're in the middle of an investigation here. Whoa! Stuff's falling on me! Oh, I can't really get into my work without something like this happening first. Well, let's get this show on the road. So, which item do you want to start on? In this world, there are those who are masochistic, and then there is gumshoe. So that flight attendant, Rhoda Teneiro, she's the killer, isn't she? I don't think we can say that for sure yet. But there certainly are a great number of things pointing us in that direction. You mean like, how she didn't tell us about her buying her own suitcase? 
Yes, however, in regard to the keycard being stolen, I can't seem to find any evidence that she's lying about that. Not yet, at least. Right. <laughs> I don't know why you like to do that. He more, he more looks like a really, really weird um, Wait. zigzag line. Wait, what if we do it up and down? <laughs> now he's doing the dance on like one of those like cheesy disco you put exercise your left foot videos. In, you put your right foot <laughs> out. Like the exercise videos. <laughs> <laughs> like the Jaden oh, for the Jaden yeah. where they're like smiling way too much. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> Don't think about eating that pizza, pal! <laughs> <laughs> wait, wait, wait. Uh, Gumshoe, get out of the way. Okay, uh... How dare you materialize <laughs> through me. Anyway, that's it for today, everybody. <laughs> Thanks for watching. <laughs> no! We, we talked to Miss Tenero, and we, exa yeah. we examined like everything. All yeah. you have to do is the logic stuff, I think. Yeah. Anyhow, look forward to that next time. Until we meet again, my friends, have a great day, and God bless.